Hello, I'm Emma of Granola Gear, and I'm so excited you've decided to join me to chat about my most recent Ravelry Deep Dive. This time, the focus is on bra-friendly tank tops, because I've been looking to really get into super wearable basic pieces for my summer knits. In the past, I've focused on things that I just really thought were pretty and fun, and obviously that's okay, but for me, I really wanted to start knitting things that I'm actually going to wear all the time and not just knit and then wear once and forget about. Uh, and for me, that means comfortable and comfortable means I don't have to layer under it, especially when it's the heat of summertime, you don't want lots of layers. And I personally want to be able to wear comfortably a bra underneath my piece. Uh, this piece, for example, this is the Palm Tea by Lay Knit. I really love it. It's really beautiful. But I didn't realize before I knit it that I was going to end up having to wear a tank top under it because the lace comes down a lot farther than I realized. Um, I still like it, but it really limits when I can wear it. And I wanted to make choices for this summer and for the future that leaned into like everyday wearability for me. So I have uh, a whole bunch of patterns that I've gotten together from light fingering to bulky weight. Obviously, they're going to concentrate in the fingering DK weights just because it's summertime and we're looking at lighter weight knits, but I wanted to give some options in other categories just in case that's what you have. Uh, I'll give you all the basic information. Prices are listed, listed in USD just because I'm in the US, um, but I wanted to give you a benchmark of some kind. So some of the numbers are a little funky because of the conversion, but yep. And if I look down, just looking at my notes, make sure I give you the right information. So we'll start with light fingering. The first piece I have in light fingering is the Leah Top by Tweety Sheep. And this is a really interesting half fisherman's rib piece. I feel like you don't see this a lot in summer knits, but I really love the texture. It's very beautiful. It's got like a regular rib edging all over. And the sample pictures are in like a beautiful hand dyed, like kind of a little bit tonal variegated yarn, but obviously you could use anything. And it's very beautiful. Um, it's available in double extra small to 4XL. And it's knit on 2.75 millimeter needles. And it is six. 50. And it's also a negative ease pattern, so it's going to be tighter, but you could obviously make a different choice for your size so that you know what you're, you're getting. <laughs> and all of the links for these will be listed below, and I have a Ravelry bundle with all of them as well. The next piece is the On the Rocks Tank tank Top Light. This is because there's also a sport weight version as well, um, but I just listed it in this category. This one is by Odd Row. And I really, really love the textured design on this. It's very, it, it's, it's kind of art deco to me with the diamonds and I don't know, the kind of radiating lines. It's really beautiful. It's got a nice scoop neck, uh, rolled edges. It's kind of a more natural fit. Uh, this one's in sizes extra small to 3XL, knit in three millimeter needles, and it is 728. Now on to fingering weight patterns. The first piece is the Della Mar Tank by Angela Hahn. And this one in the picture that I'm, I'm gonna list, like show, it's got this really beautiful cabling down the front center that I like. It's like a nice natural fit. But what you don't see is that on the back, it has the same, uh, same cable detail mirrored with a little bit of a split hem in the center. Really beautiful, nice, it's an interesting knit, something fun, not basic stockinette, which is nice. It's available in extra small to 3XL knit on three millimeter needles and it is $7. The next piece is the Ridge Tank by Bluebird Pine Shop. This is one of my favorites. I love a basic texture. I love a good stripe and this is a good textured stripe. I like the high neck. It has I-cord bind off on all the edges and it's more of a natural fit, definitely cropped, but obviously you could make it a little longer if you wanted. It's available in sizes extra small to 4XL then on 3.25 millimeter needles and it is 5.56. The next piece is the Bedruthen Camisole by H. Iris Makes. And this one has a really nice scalloped neckline that I believe is knit, it's knit top down and I believe it is knit along the way. So it's not an added edging. So it's not like an additional crochet thing or anything. It's just worked into the piece. It's in a nice two by two rib, kind of a zero, zero to negative ease piece. You could make it tighter if you wanted, but you don't have to. Uh, raw hem in the bottom, I believe, and a split hem a little bit on the sides. Uh, I think it's a really pretty piece, very dainty, but also definitely, definitely a basic, I'd say. I love a good rib. Um, this one, the finished circumference of the piece ranges from 28 to 64 inches. Is it on three millimeter needles and it is 926. Next, we have the Tina Top by Sarah Stark. 
and I love a good button down t-shirt or shirt. That is one of my favorites. I don't know what it is about a button down the middle. It just is my favorite. And I love the dainty little ribs on all the edges here. And it's kind of got, it's got a really wide, um, the, the straps are really wide and it's like almost comes into like cap sleeves. I feel like not really, obviously it's obviously not a cap sleeve, but I just like that it's a little extra long and maybe comes down your shoulder a little bit. I think it's a very, very uh, refined look. It's very pretty and it's a more loose fit. I believe this is also a saddle shoulder construction from what I could see in the pictures. So that's what it looked like. Um, it's available in sizes extra small to 3XL, made on three millimeter needles, and it is 862. The next piece, I will hopefully get two pictures in here so you can see the front and the back. It's easier to understand that way. Um, this one's Zen with a Twist by Design von Hintern Stein. And it's got this nice uh, twisted rib and garter. So it's not just pearl in between, it's uh, garter in between the twisted stitches. And it has it along the back, but it also has it in the front on the upper too, which is a nice little detail. And then the same thing as the hem, so it's kind of like a two by two rib, but a little thicker. Uh, it's a little bit of a scoop neck, not too much. I believe there's multiple body options for how you like to construct the body, whether it's tighter or looser. This is available in sizes extra small to 5XL, made on 3.5 millimeter needles, and it is 942. Next, we have the April Camisole by the Knit Pearl Girl. Once again, I am a sucker for a stripe. This one is uh, has details for the two color stripe, but then I believe it's also a textured stripe as well. So the blue line in that piece is texture. So if you knit it in one color, you'd still get a bit of a stripe. It would just be a little bit different. This one is available in a 29.5 to 61 inch bust. And I forgot to mention it is folded hems along the neck and the bottom hem, and then it's I-cord edge on the sleeve edge. It's knit on four millimeter needles and it is 926. Now onto sport weight patterns. The first one, this is, I really love this one as well. This one is Breakfast at Tiffany's by Heidi Marie Kaiser. This one might be a little more old fashioned for some people, but for me, there's once again, something about a collar. I don't know what it is, collar and a button down, I'm a sucker. Uh, but it's got this seed stitch little collar, popped collar detail, a little V and also a seed stitched um, hem. I think it's very pretty. I mean. It would be beautiful with a pair of pants or shorts or a skirt. Like you could really wear it anyway. Dress it up, dress it down, whatever you want. Um, it's got a finished circumference in the garment of 34 to 53 inches. It's knit on 3.5 millimeter needle needles and it is 670. The next piece is the Cabana Top by Coco Amor. Um, this is like a natural fit seed stitch all over tank top. I think it's a very basic construction and design, which I really like. Got a good scoop neck, rib edges on the neckline and the hem with I-cord edges along the armholes. I like this. There wasn't a good um, try on photo, but it's a nice natural fit, not too tight. Pretty classic. It's available in sizes extra small to 4XL. It's knit on five millimeter needles and it is 860. Now on to DK patterns. The first one is the Alley Top by Line Peterson. Uh, it's a nice basic tank top, but the edging details are added on afterwards with crochet. Um, so if you can't crochet, maybe this is a place to learn, maybe try something different, but I think it's a really pretty Pico edge that it gives it. It's a zero ease to like a negative ease pattern, so it could be a little tighter if you wanted it to be. It's available in sizes extra small to 5XL knit on three millimeter needles and it is 456. So I think it's a really pretty basic design. The next one is the Cindy Top by Colbury. And this one has a cute little tie in the front, but you can also knit it without, obviously cropped, but you could always knit it a little bit longer if that's what you wanted. It's got I-cord edges all over. Um, I think it's a very pretty basic design, nice high neckline. This one is available in sizes extra small to 5XL. It's knit on four millimeter needles and it is 7.93. But I think it's a very pretty basic tank design. The next piece is the Soferine, I believe that's how it's said, by Audrey Borrego. Um, this piece is really nice and it's you got two options with this one. You can also knit a cap sleeve. There is instructions for that within this design. It's a nice stripe. There's also some texture that you can't see as well in this photo that is on the shoulders. So if you knit it in one color, you get like a striped detail on the side too with a little texture. 
Uh, we've got all twisted rib edging, which is really nice. Um, this one's available in the finished circumferences, finished circumference of 31.5 to 67 inches. Uh, and I believe she wrote in the instruct in the description that if you wanted another size or needed a size outside of that, she'd be happy to grade it for you as well. Um, this one's knit on 3.25 millimeter needles and it is 908. The next one is the Slanting Slip-On by Anna Vento. I really like this one. It's a negative ease uh, piece. It's got twisted rib up on the shoulders, but then broken rib all over the, the body. I, I used the photo that wasn't a try-on photo because I thought it gave a better picture of the whole garment, but the photo kind of makes it look more like a slip-over, but I, it's definitely like a tank top. Uh, I think it's a really pretty design. I love the, the really uh, prominent stripes that the twisted rib get, gives. I think it's a really beautiful design, um, and it comes down the sides as well. This one is in sizes extra small to double extra large, then on four millimeter needles, and it is 761. Now on to worsted weight patterns. The first one, I really love this one, and I really love this designer. Her designs are so creative and innovative, I think. And that is the Next to Necklace Top by Wool & Beyond. It's got this really cool braided detail around the neck that I don't even know how she did, but it's very pretty. <laughs> um, I believe it's garter around the uh, armholes, and it's a zero to negative ease piece, so it could be a little tighter, more like a traditional, um, traditional tank top. It's got this textured stripe that's really, really pretty. It's available in sizes extra small to 5XL. It's knit on four millimeter needles and it is 686. Now, Aran weight patterns. First, we have the Fernwood by Little Two Plums. And this one has a really nice lace detail on the bottom. Kind of gives you a scalloped edge as well, so it's not just a flat hem. Uh, it's just a basic scoop neckline, I-cord edges. You can knit it uh, neutral to negative ease, I believe. Um, it gives you a finished circumference of 31 to 73 inches. I think it's a really pretty basic design. I, it's kind of floral looking almost, like it looks like leaves on the bottom, which is very pretty. Um, I, I really like this piece. It's in on six millimeter needles and it is $9. Next, we have the Simple Summer Tank by Rust Knitwear. In the photo I'm using, it has a peplum, but it is optional. You can knit it straight if you want. It's got a nice V-neck, I believe raw edges all over. It's a really nice piece, and I, I like the peplum. I know peplums might not be super in right now, but I think they're very pretty, especially styled nicely. In this photo, she's got it layered, so you could always do that as well. Um, this one gives you a finished circumference of 29.5 to 55.5 inches, and that is with negative ease included as uh, cotton yarns do tend to stretch out over time. So it's good to maybe give yourself a little negative ease at the beginning. This one's knit on five millimeter needles and it is 696. Now the last one is a bulky weight pattern, just in case you've got some bulky summer yarns hanging out on the, out there. And this is the Sun Stripes Top by Knit League. Uh, it's a double rib, uh, like two by two rib all over piece. It's got, I believe, um, ribbed edges on the neck and the arms. This one's got, it's based on your waist measurement and it has shaping for the bust if you'd like. So it get, you can do a, a tighter shape, I believe. Uh, it's available in sizes extra, double extra small to 4XL, then on five millimeter needles and it is 761. So I hope that wasn't too fast for you. All of the information, like I said, is down in the description as well. Hope you found some inspiration or a pattern that you're interested in knitting or maybe a new designer. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like or subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. It means a lot to me and I hope you have a great day and I wish you happy knitting. Bye-bye. <laughs>